capital? Rabat. China? Peking. Capital of Brazil. Uh. It's Brazilia. I knew that. I knew that. Oh. Yeah, what a wind. Uh, uh, map of the world. Uh, what a good idea. <laughs> you, you know, I, I was going to tell you about it. I mean, about our world. What it was like hundreds of years ago. Now, let's see. Um, Africa looks pretty strange, all right. That's not its shape. Yes, well, to the end of the Middle Ages, that was all we knew about our world. Because to go into the interior, there was one gigantic obstacle. They were scared to death. They were? Why? Yeah, the, the unknown, the imaginary. I wouldn't have been. Scared of the unknown? Come on. <laughs> 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 Only back then, they had other things to fear besides a little mouse. <laughs> There's a ship sailing for Africa. They're looking for men. Do I look crazy? Know what they got in store? There's some sailors who saw a sea serpent over a mile long swallowing down a ship. Unicorns ram ships with their horn. The sun is so low, it boils the ocean, it darkens and burns people's skin. At the far limit, the ocean falls into a pit. And on the other side, they walk upside down. You'd never come back. Now, here's Portugal, a small country of about one million inhabitants. It's from here that Prince Henry the Navigator will organize the discovery of the world. Henry, my son, you cannot be king because you are not the eldest, but you will discover much that is hidden to other men. Come. Take this knight's sword. May it serve you well. You see, my son, 30 years ago, with God's help, I fought and conquered Castile. But they're strong and one day might chase out us infidels, and so we must strengthen our supremacy while there's still time. Yes, father. I'll try to maintain our country as a great sea power. If we can inflict defeat on the Muslims, we will be champions of the Christian faith, and the Pope will give us his support. Our objective is to conquer the city of Ceuta on the coast of Morocco. It's important that we control it. May the Lord go with you, my son. <laughs> It's wheat. And here's rice and salt. Huh? <laughs> Pepper, cinnamon, and ginger as well. Yes, noble one, ginger. And also excellent cinnamon, like perfume. And pepper, freshened in seeds. But these are all rare products of the Orient. How did you get them? In Portugal, they're worth gold. From the Senegal River, oh, honored sir. There is also gold there. Every three months, a caravan leaves. It crosses mountains and desert, then stops at the river bank. There, we barter silently. Silent bartering? Oh, yes, sir. We bring our salt, our beautiful coral jewelry, cloth, knives. Those jewels, it's not enough gold. This, however, is a good deal. <laughs> Even though we don't speak their language and they don't speak ours. Father, now I know. There, in southern Africa, there are unknown lands and gold as well. Hmm. But our maps are not accurate. See Ptolemy's map? 
I will group scholars together, construct many a ship. I will man every ship, and by sea we will have the riches of the Orient. You do that. Do just as you say, Henry. And at Sagres, on the southwestern tip of Portugal, Henry will have a genuine research institute built, and he'll invite astronomers and map makers and navigators and... Zarco, you sail to the south, steer a course veering from the African coast. It is said there is a magnificent green island there. Yes, Royal Highness, I will follow your orders. You, Pedro, will set a course sailing right along the coast. Once you have passed Cape Bojador, oh. you will then... Cape Bojador, Your Highness, that is impossible. Because it's the end of the world. It is the unknown. It will mean death. Look here, Pedro. Cape Bojador is no more distant than England is. What are you afraid of? I will try. Whoa! <laughs> Giles, my horse! We're going to the arsenal, Giles! Look, look, Royal Highness, this barge can carry 40 men and their provisions. The square mainsail, eh? It catches the wind. It's excellent for very long voyages. A square sail and a backing wind's good, but with my triangular one, it's possible to sail against the wind. And there are two sails. Then your sight rudder unbalances the ship. Oh, whoa. In a strong wind, your mast will sap. Oh. Your ship is leaning against the wind and it's sure to turn over. And in a strong gale, what happens to your boat? That's what happens. Oh. Oh. Yes, this is what a hurricane would do to your boat and worse. <laughs> your single master. Here, I'll show you what I do with your single master. <laughs> They're ridiculous. <laughs> what a waste. It's not especially complicated, Prince. Who are you? Um, an old sailor. I've navigated on many a sea and many a ship. And what do you suggest? Uh, what I suggest is uh, combining the advantages of the two. How do we do that? Well, here, I'll show you. Oh, no. <laughs> Jim, oh. you put the rudder at the back. It's much more stable than a side rudder. And three masts to increase sail surface, a narrow hull to cut through the water, a minimum draft for shallow water. Uh, mm. and that's what I suggest. Oh, the rudder was uh, my idea. But the topsail, that's mine. The bigger mast, that's mine. And the triangular ah. sail is mine. The important thing is uniting ideas, gentlemen. Huh? Uh, and what's the name of this new creation? It's a caravel. Enough of your bickering. Go and build one of these caravels as he designed it. And be quick. Yes, yes your sir. highness. We <laughs> humbly <laughs> obey you, your highness. But it will never sail, your highness. Go ahead. <laughs> it's much too small. Not deep enough in the water. It'll capsize. <laughs> Captain! <laughs> We're within a hundred miles of Cape Bojador. The end of the known world. We'll all be dead. Do we sail on, Captain? Uh, no! You observe, the wind's turning the ocean. It's uh, agitated. The water's cold, Captain. I mean, come on here! And I say the sea's rough! Turn around now, we return to Portugal. Huh. You wish to see me, Prince Henry? Ah, Yehuda, yes I did. Look, here is the well-known Catalan Atlas drawn by your father. Tell me. Why is it that such eminent people as you have left Spain? We were chased out, your highness. All the Jews were chased from Spain. You're right. I forgot. Here you are welcome. Look, will you help me bring your father's maps up to date? You will be my chief cartographer. 
Oh, yes, I certainly will. I too can help you, O oh, Prince. My, my name is Sebastian, a famous cartographer of Genoa. I know all the oceans and all the coastlines. We'll see, Sebastian, but watch it. All that we do here is totally secret, under pain of death, understand? Well, I, I, I uh... Jehuda, come with me. That's why we must have a maximum of information and of observations that are very precise. You'll note exact positions of each hill and village and even the trees. Every detail will be of help to our navigators. Yes, yes Your, Your Highness. Highness. Yes. You see, if I don't force them to widen our knowledge, then it won't be done, I assure you, because there isn't one sea captain who'll go anywhere if there's no profit for him. Under Henry's energetic supervision, the center at Sagres is beginning to show results. At the shipyard, caravels are even more improved, made faster and faster, and Madeira will be colonized in 1420, and the Azores in 1427. Yeah, here's the brave explorer returned from Cape Bojador. Highness Captain Dominguez has returned at last. <laughs> Well, Captain, Cape Bojador, did you sail around it? At risk to my life and because of my devotion to your highness, I approached it to within a few leagues. Did you sail around it? I was able to learn, risking my life, that the Cape is not navigable. Imagine water boiling us in a cauldron. Suddenly, a giant dragon rose up, fire shooting from its mouth. I sailed in closer despite the terrible heat and saw the ocean falling into a bottomless pit. Your highness, there can be no doubt it's the end of the habitable world. There's no going beyond that, Cape Bojador. <laughs> yes, Giles? Your Highness, let me go. Now I'm a good sailor. All I need is a caravel, Your Highness. Granted. Uh, and Sebastian knows the region very well. He will go with you. Dominguez will be a lowly deckhand. Uh, me a lowly deckhand? What a revolting insult. Just wait. We will have the last word yet. You will see. The power of Venice is threatened. Henry of Portugal is trying to sail around the African continent to find a route to the Orient. He has built fast ships, caravels. Venice's wealth comes from our trade with the Orient. If he finds a new sea route, we're ruined. Well, Prince Henry really finds such a route. He will, according to our spy who's there at Sagres. We must do everything we can to stop him. Everything? Yes. By any means. Yes, and you will be rewarded. It'll pay you a lot, and you'll be promoted to captain. <laughs> We've passed the Canary Islands. And so, soon we'll see Cape Bojador. <laughs> now we'll see if he ever finds his precious Cape Bojador. We're out of sight of land. Why? What's it mean? The compass is off. We deviated to the west. Oh. Oh, 
Sales. We're in for a big store. Steady as she goes. I'll order the sails lowered. All right, you men, on your feet. Uh -huh. Roll the sails, the storm's brewing. It's these two who sabotaged our entire expedition. I trust you, Captain. Spies, you're in whose pay? Castile? Mm -mm. Aragon? Mm -mm. Venice? Mm -mm. Uh, we're sorry, Prince Henry. So it's Venice, then. And the maps, you're the ones who stole them. No, Prince Henry, you could say we only borrowed them. We brought them back. You know how we punish traitors here. Take them away! Oh, I took none of all that I saw. No sign of any men or animals. A coast completely deserted. Here are a few palm trees, there a rocky outcrop. Hmm. No monsters, boiling sea, eh? Nothing like that. Sea is calm, beach is quiet, the water's quite shallow. And what now? I begin again. Either I go around Cape Bojador and return, or I try and never return. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm. Eh, the enthusiasm of youth, it's touching. Just setting off without knowing what dangers await. I have a little object that might come in handy. Marvelous! Simple and quite ingenious. When the ship sways, the compass remains horizontal. No, oh, it's a simple idea, nothing much. <laughs> the pole stars on the horizon. We're on the same latitude now as Cape Bojador. Full ahead south. The wind is good. A hill lies to the west and a clump of useful landmarks. Shows ahead. Heading south, southeast. We'll sail away from the coast. You're not going to turn around? Not before we've sailed around that cursed cape. Captain. Um, there. The cap, the cap, cap. It's Cape Bo. It's ca ca Cape Bo. Bo, 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 Bo. Cape Bo, Bo. It's Cape Bo, Bo, Bo. <laughs> then we're here. We've reached our objective. But it, 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 it's the mo, the mo, the mo, the mo, the mo, the mo, mo. The, the, the moment we die, the end of the world. Look up ahead, Pinto. That is Cape Bojador. A little headland like hundreds you've seen. But the fire dragon, it's the end, end, end of the world. Not at all, Pinto. It can't be the end of the world. Rather, the beginning of a new world. No one, a well. No sign of life. Look. Rosemary. The Rose of Mary. We'll bring it to Prince Henry as true testimony of our conquest. And so you did sail around Cape Bojador, mm -hmm. the Cape of Fear. Now, the route to the Orient is ours. <laughs> Well, in my opinion, just by sailing a little farther down, uh, <laughs> We now have details concerning the coast to Cape Bojador. It's time we explored inland to find out what the land is like. We're going to need horses. No water! Cast the anchor! <laughs> I see. He thinks that we're painted white. Well, I thought they were all painted black. <laughs> it's a crazy world. Say, so we might take them back with us and sell them as slaves. 
We could get rich. For sale, African couple in good health, obedient, excellent workers, a real bargain, yours for only three cruzados. Believe me, it's rare merchandise coming direct from Africa. Who will buy them? Who? And so it was the Portuguese who began the slave trade? Yes, unfortunately, the slave trade was widespread throughout Africa. You remember I told you. <laughs> <laughs> it was a source of income for African kings. Fifteen yeah. slaves for one horse? It's a deal. It's a deal. And Henry, what was his opinion on this traffic? Well, Henry did discourage it. He opposed it, but... Look here, we're not making discoveries to put men into slavery, but to open the world to our merchant fleet. Yes, surely, but slavery already exists, Your Highness. It's not us Portuguese who invented it. And we have a great need for manual laborers. Anyway, the church hasn't yet decided whether these creatures are human, if they truly are creatures to whom God has given a soul. If they have one, we'll ask for a higher price, eh? <laughs> and so the slave trade grew and prospered. In any case, the work of the Sagres Center was bearing fruit. Henry's navigators would sail farther and farther. Yes, they will discover new lands. 1447, Guinea. In 1448, construction of Fort Argan in the north of Senegal. In 1455, exploration of the Gambia. Thank you, Dynasties, for your courage on your expeditions. Thanks to you all, my friends, for your devotion to our cause. If there is still much work to do, you must sail around Africa, expand our known world. You must dedicate yourselves to this task. <coughs> and in the future... In nomine Patris it's just as I explained it to you. Yes, let me take your son, Bartholomew. He'll be like a son to me. I'll teach him all my knowledge. You see, when a ship crosses the equator, the pole star drops out of sight, eh? You have to know how to calculate position by using the sun. I have an excellent work in Hebrew that explains it very well. In 1481, young John II was crowned king of Portugal. <clears throat> now... It's time to leave on the great voyage, Bartholomew. We must continue the work of Henry, whom we honor. You have two ships, two fine caravels, and a larger ship for provisions. But most valuable, you will have a map with complete details concerning Africa and the Indian Ocean. Once again, the work of our late lamented Henry. The wind is veering, it's a storm, careful! The mast will snap, bring down the sails! Ten days it's gone on. We're in the middle of the ocean. Let's use this calm to move up to the east. Oh, another ten days and still nothing. I'm sure that we've sailed around Africa. Set a course to the north. Land ahoy, land off the port bow! Whoa. I don't see anything you're wrong. No, not starboard look again to port look. Yes! yes. Ha -ha. Land is to port on our left. Our left! You realize that means we sail around the tip of Africa! <laughs> yes, they had sailed around Africa and opened the route to the Orient. Look, <laughs> 1992, hmm? Columbus reaches the Americas, 1499. Vasco da Gama sails to Calcutta in India, 1500. Cabral discovers Brazil. 1519, Magellan attempts to sail around the world. And all of it began when, braving ignorance and superstition, the young Prince Henry the Navigator, founded at Sagres in Portugal, a research center that in a very real sense led to the discovery of our world. Mm -hmm.